What is up guys, BHD here and today we've got another train to the Manor Match Torres. We're getting a little bit closer now, I think we're about, should be about halfway there now. So you can see from last episode there's two items still up. There is a Coke Silver that we've bought and managed to pick up for a quite a nice deal. We bought him for 100,000 coins exactly, it was very risky because the next cheapest was 145,000 coins. But I looked, um, checked an ultimate DB and he'd only been going for about 100k-ish. So I risked it anyway and um, tried to make some good profit. I think we listed him for 130, uh, possibly 140 there. I think he definitely goes down a lower into about 130 I think. Which even so would be a really, really nice profit to make on a player. There's also a right mid 86 Sanchez that we bought for 48,250 coins. And we go ahead and list him up to make some very nice little profit on him. We list him for, was it 59, possibly 60, something around there. Which again is probably about 10, 9 or 10k profit, if I am correct on that. And we've got the full trade pile filled up now and um, the coins are pretty much all spent. So we come back and two of the four items have sold. Um, this was They sold quite quick as well, I think. The Gertz was sold for 92,000 coins. That was one we picked up for 87. And that Sanchez pulled for 60k. Um, we've gone out and been able to pick up two more Team of the Season players. This Benat we bought for 44,250 and we list him up for, I think we make about a, between, I think we make about 80k, 8k profit on him. And we do list him up 56,000 coins. There's also a Fanny that we list up for, I'm not sure what we list him up for actually, because we bought him for 63,000. I think we might list him up for 73. 3 or 72 which even so would again be a nice little profit it's probably about 7 6 7k profit on him which again is nice it all adds up at the end of the day we want to be making as much as we possibly can and we do in fact list him for 76,000 coins so even then we're making a bit more profit than we first thought um, that and we are able to soon come back then to see that four of the four items have gone and sold so the Ben Atz of 56k, so we built that for 48k, nice profits there. The Hethman we bought 15 from our last episode. The Coke sold 130 that we bought for 100k. And then there's finally the Fanny we sold for 75k that we bought for 62k. So very nice profits there and we've gone out and bought another two or three items. First one is this Zaha we bought for 62,000 coins. And we, I'm pretty sure we go ahead and list them up for a lovely 75,000 coins. So after tax, we do make about 10, I think it's about 10,000 coins after tax we make on him, which is very, very nice to pick up because he is one of these new transferred cards and he was nice and nice little buy, to be honest with you. Um, we move on now to the next one that is a Raphael that we managed to buy for 43,000 coins. Guys, it would be great at this stage if you could remember to drop a like on this. We'll try and get 175 likes on this video. That would be great, and do remember to subscribe as well. But um, we do risk this Raphael for, for 55,000 coins. And then finally, a Vincent Company in form that we managed to buy for 216,000 coins. And I'm not sure exactly what we list him up for, but I think it's somewhere around 240, maybe 245. It could be. It was. Yeah, it is about 240 around that mark. So some nice little profit there. I'm not sure off the top of my head what profits that would be but I'm pretty sure it's over about 10k ish so um, that's very very nice as we come back to see three items have sold we're about to um, see what we've sold it's all three there's a half there's a 75k the Raphael 55 and then the Vincent company which we move on to for 242 there's three more items left in the trade pile now and we don't make great like profits on these these are small profits because it has become really really hard to trade I don't know why I think it's because all the all you guys, all the um, college and school kids have all like kind of left now. You've finished for summer, so every, well not everyone, but um, the majority um, are consistently playing Ultimate Team a lot more. People are on the web app, on the console, trading, maybe trying to buy players more, and it's become so much more harder to trade. So that's why the profits aren't great on these guys. We bought this Mandanda for 35, list him up for 42, which is still 5k profit on him. A 86 Sanchez as well. We buy for 48,500 coins. And we list up for 50, it might be a bit more than 56, it might be 55, yeah it was 55 in the end. And that's it for this episode guys, making some nice profits, so um, I do hope you've enjoyed, if you have then do remember to drop a like like we mentioned earlier, do remember to subscribe to me, and I shall see you on tomorrow's video guys, so uh, bye bye.